What is up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Imposter Tyler, and you're watching Imposter Tyler's Idol. I've got another good one for, for all of my people who are going into year 11, or, you know, it doesn't even have to be year 11, it can just be, if you're going into year 10 or you're starting a big time in college or university you know hopefully this will be helpful for many many people uh but anyway as i said in one of my previous videos um i am now starting a series to help people who are going through who are going into times like year 11 given having either physical having you know mobility health issues that have kept you off of school and you've missed a lot or you know pain wise like i said in the last video i have um functional abdominal pain syndrome which is a contracting muscle pain throughout my abdomen area which is very very painful and i ended up being absent for many many months due to it along with a condition that i didn't realize was and that was a thing until it happened to me i just thought it was something that was in a tv show called never have i ever that i watch where the main girl the main character um experiences a very very traumatic event and her legs paralyze on her due to it and well let's just say say the same thing happened to me yeah um i to put it briefly i am doing a whole other video on this at a later date but at the moment I'm focusing more on this and I will be doing that as it's not going to be, it's, it's, uh, I know with me saying it, a lot of people are going to say, oh, you're doing it for views, you know, you're doing it because you know you're going to get views. No, I'm not doing it, for, I'm doing it to spread awareness because the amount of people that have told me I'm either lying or I'm faking it for attention is unbelievable. So it's clear that very obviously not many people are aware that this is an, a genuine issue so i'm going to be doing it to make other people aware of it that it is a real thing and i was most most of the time i spent off school was it was half the pain and half the paralysis because we were struggling to get hold of a wheelchair so i could go back to school because well my legs paralyzed on me i couldn't couldn't walk could not walk so yeah and at the moment i'm not really sure what's going on but my right leg is very weak it in, in a, i'm not really sure how to explain it but it is walking a lot walking without a crutch is very very difficult but i can still move it around but it's still my right leg is still very very weak i'm not really sure what's going on but i have, have an appointment in a week um to refer back to all of the problems i've been having and and a, a previous problem that i had for a scan that we're gonna get the results on and they're just gonna see how things are going and given things have gotten worse as it will start as gradually it's all it started out as a tiny like you know a con the contracting pain in my abdomen but then it's spread across sort of you know like it's in my sides and now my stomach and now my right leg is acting up after it's been fine for like a month but anyway that's not important in this video i am going to be showing you know helping people with you know where they would be doing their you know where you'd be doing your revision you know like i said in the in the other video in the first video it's all to be, to put yourself in a position where you actually want to revise can be rather difficult but putting yourself in a nice clean and tidy environment helps a great deal um for example like i said making your bed in the morning you know when you're cleaning up your bedroom in the morning make your bed it gives it, 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 it works. It, it does work. It's work. It, I was able to get into routines in lockdown um, and I made my bed every single day and overall it was, it made things a lot easier. 
And now, uh, the main thing that I'm gonna say to be focused on is the is where you're actually gonna be sitting down and doing the revision. If you do not have a desk in your room, you can do it sat on your bed if you'd like. You can take your quilt your um, your quilt off, or you know if you use a fleece blanket, you know take that off. You know anything that will make it too comfortable because if you get too comfortable then you know you're you're gonna you your motivation and stuff to actually do the revision is gonna go down a lot more so if you are doing it on your bed you know fold your duvet up fold your blanket up put it neatly next to the bed you know, pillow down on the floor. I'll give you an example in a bit. If you like me and you have soft toys on your bed, put them, you know, take them off the bed as well. Um, you know, just make sure it's not too comfortable and that you've got enough space to lay out all of your, all of your things. But I'm gonna start off with a desk. If you like me, and you have a desk and when it comes to doing work you prefer to sit at a desk if i'm editing a video if i'm feeling unwell or i would prefer or you know it's one of those mornings where i just really don't want to get up out of bed and i do i keep things you know some things i keep on my desk and on my chair you know i have to go between you know put it on my bed in the morning like when i want to sit for during the day and then overnight you know have it have it here at my desk and then you know back and forth back and forth um and on days where i really just don't want to do that i will do things through my laptop so i will take my laptop take the tray that i ha that i have in my bedroom and i will do it um on my bed but that's very very rare because i don't really like doing things on my bed um given when i when I was stuck, like, borderline bed-bound, um, you know, doing, you know, doing things like trying to do some, trying to do schoolwork from my bed and trying to do, you know, trying to edit a video from my bed and, you know, all that stuff. It's, it got very, after a while, it gets very, very boring. You know, it, I was like that during lockdown, I would always do, I would do my schoolwork from my bed i would sit in bed all day and do my school work and after a while i'm gonna say it got pretty boring and then i decided you know clear my desk off and actually start using my desk instead i was able to make a really cool backdrop with the with my clothing my clothing drawers were behind me and i had my desk my new my chair and i was like how can i make it look cool given i can't get a green screen i couldn't get a green screen under my bed because I actually had a loft bed which had a desk built into it and um yeah and I was like how can I make it cool so I put all of my anime figures I had at the time behind me I had uh I put a lot of you know I have like this pokeball with pokemon cards in it and this pokemon pokeball case that has um, my Nintendo DS in, which is also Pokemon themed. It is Pikachu. And I also had the box of all of my gym badges from, I believe, Pokemon Indigo League on display as well. So, but now it's all kind of like next to my bed with, cause I've got so many more things now as well. It's crazy. I'll, I'll show you at a, at a later date because we have more important things to worry about at the moment. We are gonna start at the desk and um, I will work my way around. Um, the only ones I can really think if, cause obviously if you're revising, you don't really wanna be around loads of people, but if in your family, you know, you don't have enough space in your room for a desk and you're the kind of person who doesn't really wanna, you know, sit on your bed and do things, but your parents, your parents need an office or they, um, you know, you guys have an office in the house. Like we have an office, we have, we now have an office in our house. If your family has an office and you don't have enough space in your bedroom for a desk, then, 
you know, you could do it in there and you can have, you know, if you have space to store most of your revision stuff, like, for example, I use, I use binders to store everything in. I actually have a very, very, uh, the way that I do it, it works for me because I keep everything for each subject together in one place and it's easy to tell which one because I read it on the side. Now to actually organizing said desk. So, um, my desk, it's not clean, but it's not messy, but it also is messy, but it's also kind of clean because everything in a way has a home. So, really the first thing I'm going to do is move, move a few things off my desk that I kind of need on there at the moment. Okay, very awkward angling, I know. Um, so, this is the state my desk is currently in. Um, I have all sorts of things spread out here, there, and literally everywhere. Mm-hmm, <laughs> not very good. Um, and, yeah, it's really going to start off by cleaning, clearing the desk off, just clear, clear it of everything, and if you're like me, have a monitor on your desk, everything but the monitor, you don't want to take that off, that's going to end awfully, that's not going to end well, so basically anything else you have on here, you know, get it off. Ignore this. This here, ignore it. Well, it's for a project that you will be seeing at a later date. Took four pages out of that math book for this, out of my math binder for this. And I've spent at least 20 hours on this project and it's still not finished. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, but like I said, just take everything off. Just strip your desk bare. TV remotes. Got all these, like, I got these. Oh! Cute little washi tape. Like, they got some washi tape and some nice little stickers. Uh, I got them off of Shein, if anyone wants to know. Um, I use them when I'm journaling. I have another three rolls of washi tape that I'll show in a different video. Hehe. <laughs> I built this. I built this masterpiece. If you want to see it on my TikTok, I'll leave a link in the description down below. scratched now. You probably did know but if you didn't know I wear glasses. And I have a really cool glasses case. It's a wolf. I like wolves. My favourite animal. Oh I'm really
already hot on my side doing this. Ah. Peace fit, peace fit. Oh, thank you. box of raisins why do i have a random box of raisins on my desk get it together to you are that's the point of this video you're getting it together i don't know why half of the stuff that's on my desk is on my desk and that is gonna change today I'm making flowers out of these, because why not? I get bored and I want to do some craft, so I come up with these funky ideas. looking forward to taking that down because I'm going to stand up and my, my leg is very very achy at the moment <laughs> missing more times than I breathe it's concerning there is so much stuff in here oh my days oh that's it's gonna get sorted I don't have anywhere to put it I apologise to my parents who are literally right beneath me who can hear all the racket I'm making. just right you see all of this and you know these here you know these these little things here and all of this here mm -hmm. that is all of the material I got off my math teacher at a GCSE parents evening I'm not even joking then I've got my my poetry anthology here I've got my three CGP AQA English books. I've got the same here for biology and extra paper. Which, it'll probably stay in there, to be honest. Um, I mean, really, I could just... Okay, I know I want, I've just put that on the floor, but I'm going to put it back up there because that's like, this, these are one of the, some of the things that ain't changing. So. <sighs> Fucking dear Yago. <sighs> okay. And then obviously I've got to put my maths folder there. Mm. 
Okay. This is where it gets interesting. And the bit that I really, I'm really dreading doing. Get this. Back up. I gotta sort through this now. <sighs> Let's do this. Okie dokie. The little box thing with all of my journal stuff in it, which is gonna go back here. Then I'm gonna put the grades thing in. My school my school journal log thingy madrig my planner my manga of course and then in front of that I'm going to keep this my Kindle my personal planner you know like yeah, so I can like note down appointments and stuff. Um, obviously my fidgets, of course. Oh no. Um, my flashcards. My spare flashcards. Eesh. My friend's pencil case. Glasses wipes. Overlay. Hole puncher. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna keep my school planner, this notebook, and this stack of paper here in there as well. Um, I'm also going to put my tablets, like my, my pain tablets, my multivitamins and my antihistamines in there as well, like to store them when I'm not using them. So I'm going to do that, but you know, off camera, because I don't really want to trigger anything for anyone. And then just gonna plop these in. There. And then put this back. Up here. <laughs> I don't have a fan on or a window open and I'm actually very very warm for one. This I'm gonna put this in my ward in the top of my wardrobe with all of my art stuff. Water. Now my desk is pretty darn clear, which is good, but I still have a few things that need to come on here. Consisting of one thing organized Woohoo! I'm feeling accomplished and I've done one thing <laughs> okay the only one the only thing that will fit next to that is this which has all of my pens you know I don't really haven't had these ones for long but I'm not really gonna use them much unless the rest of them run out um, 
these are my favorite i love using these pens these are the only pens that i can actually use that don't cause you know sensory problems um i also have some of my dad's business pens in here as well my favorite color ones and then some gray ones i can just take out and about and leave in places i, I feel like it i've also got gel pens felt it pens the other whiteboard pen and yeah and this go get back in the back gel pen and now i have some now i have a gap in the front i also have a black gel pen oh i have two of them in here okay but yeah that goes over here my minecraft creation goes over here the one with all my main my main stuff you know like my ballpoint pens my clicky pens fine liners highlighters ballpoint pen the black Oh, this is where the black one went. Okay. Uh, ruler, and that's pretty much it. Which will go over here, along with my pencils, which I have irregular pencils and mechanical pencils because I like using mechanical pencils. Put this here. Because that's where I keep it when I'm doing my live streams and stuff, so I can keep an eye on chat. Glasses, good deer. <laughs> That is it for the desk. Um, I'm gonna pick up the things off the floor that need to go elsewhere, and I'm gonna go over onto the bed bit. How I suggest to do it, you know, from your bed. My bed. Please, if try and ignore the the creaking. I'm not sure why it creaks. It just does. Um, but yeah. But the moment's pretty is pretty messy. It's not too bad though. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna go on to revising from a bed, uh, and then I will give verbal advice for doing it in an office. First thing you're gonna do if you've got any mess, you've got any clutter clear it off for example i have two completed diamond art pieces here there's the stitch and toothless one and who this one made me happy one of shoto todoroki <laughs> major fan major major fan Right, I gotta somehow get this over there. All right, I'm gonna have to try to do this without my stick. That was painful. Uh, failed, failed wig. Tried to turn this into a, into a wig for a character called Talia from 
TV show called Lolly Rock I used to watch growing up and I decided I wanted to cosplay but I failed trying to get it to look like her wig so guess you gotta buy a new blue wig that's actually meant for fringes me the rest of this I'm gonna put over there off cam and yeah, this done. My leg is very, very achy right now, and I can't really handle getting up too much. So yeah, see you in a second. Okay, now that that is done, we can move on to actually clearing the bed off so you have both the space, and it's, yes, it's comfortable, but it's not so comfortable that you just wanna, you know, sleep all the time. So, first things first is really just take everything off. I'm gonna move my crutch to this side of the ladder. Say hello to your little friend. Okay, yes, it's summer, it's hot, but my house is cold. It's a very cold summer, so call me crazy but I have been using both a quilt and a fleece blanket yes I'm that crazy anyway ooh, what you're gonna want to do is basically fold your blanket or blankets if you're like me and you use more than one Like if you're in the winter and you get a little bit nippy, you get a little bit cold, you know you can grab, grab it if you need to, but do not get too comfortable, otherwise you want to fall asleep. Anyway, most of my bed space is cleared off, but all of all of my softies, Axel's made a few appearances, um, need to come off. But before that, you're gonna take. Pillows. Okay, pillow. Okay, take a pillow. If you have multiple, you know, make sure pillows, you know, off the bed. I'm very picky, and ever since I bought this guy, he's been my only form of getting to sleep. So he includes being a pillow. So, Cobb, you can vibe there, you little cutie. Now, you're gonna take your softies. And if your, your room layouts are a little bit like mine, bed's in the corner, got some drawers over there, and you know, you just tell me you've got some space at the end of the bed, you're gonna do the unthinkable, and you're gonna take your softies, and my grip should not be on my bed, but it is. I have Dini Soir. I'm very, very so sorry, Dini Soir. Off the bed. I have a turtle. That I got from Barmouth. I'm so sorry. Off you go. I can't throw you two. I got those mood. I got two of those mood octopuses. And all my days. I'm obsessed. These two cannot be thrown. E. Careful we place. Careful we place. Bunch of 
little bits and pieces on my bed. Which really cleared off now you know there is nothing to give you too much comfort to fall asleep it's perfect um when you do come around to revising now that your bed is decomfortly decomfortized is that even a word probably not even a word You are gonna you just get anything that you're gonna need for your revision. Um and basically just get on with it. Um yes, doing it this way will be very uncomfortable, it will hurt your back. So you can like <clears throat> lay on your front if you want. It's completely your choice. But then when you're finished revising, obviously clean everything up, put everything away, um, and then, you know, remake the bed. Which is the bit I'm really not looking forward to, because that's the bit that's going to take the most effort. Anyway, got to get to it. <laughs> have a desk uh but you're also like me and you know doing things on your bed it makes you feel a lot less productive and like you're not really you know doing like anything uh or if you just in general prefer not to do things you know from from your bed uh and your family has an office, like, you know, we do, then you would have to work your revision time around, you know, whenever everyone else is in the office, if there's only one desk, or if you have a desk in the office, then not necessarily. Um, then just do what you would normally do, you know, if you have your desk set up, but you have all your revision stuff already on there, or you keep all your vision stuff in your room in case you know you're feeling a bit off and from the one you know the what would be for for you possibly the odd chance the odd time you would be you know doing things from your bed and you know keep it in your room for in case of those reasons um then either just do things as as you probably would normally or take things from your bedroom into the office and yeah nothing really too special uh but 
yeah, that's that's all for for this this part in the you know the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, then please leave a like. There will be many, many more videos like this in to to help people with preparing for their GCSEs and basically making things as good as you know lively as possible to make sure that you know you can get the the best the, the the best grades possible. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you're notified when I post um, a video and so you know when the next part in the GCSE series comes up. So yeah, you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram. I'll leave the links and the names in the description below. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>